loves. So I'm currently in Florida visiting one of my closest friends in the entire world and if you cannot hear by my voice, I've been traveling non-stop for the last two weeks and so I'm feeling kind of sick. But I have bought a lot while I was here. I didn't even realize how much I bought until I started packing my suitcase, which is over here. And I was kind of like, man, I cannot wait to do a haul when I get home because I bought a bunch of other things like kind of recently for fall and stuff. And I just have so much here and I also have things that are perishable that I would love to taste test on camera that I got specifically to taste test on camera and I never got around to doing it. I was gonna do it in a vlog or something, but I just thought I would go ahead and share with you guys what I bought while I was here. I have some stuff that I just got from the mall like Sephora and Victoria's Secret. I also went to a zoo, so I have some stuff from that. We also went to Harry Potter World. So I'm just gonna get started and show you guys everything that I picked up. Really quickly before we get started, everyone and their mother always asks about like these sort of nudie mauve lips whenever I wear them. Um, and so I'm gonna start listing down below what my combos are. This is my favorite lip combo, but I try out different lipsticks all the time. Right now I'm wearing MAC World Lip Liner underneath a Dose of Colors Stone Liquid Lipstick. This came back into stock really recently. I believe it's still in stock. I really, really like it. It is totally worth the money, but totally not about this liquid lipstick. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got while I was here. So, one of the first places that we wound up going was Sephora. For me personally, when I travel, my skin gets so, so freaking dehydrated. And on top of that, like Florida is a lot hotter than Texas is right now. There is a lot more moisture in the air, but my skin always kind of like freaks out when temperatures and climates and like moisture in the air changes. So I wanted to do a little mask, which is what we went in there for. I do not have it, but it was just the Sephora like face mask that's in the sheet mask form in the those scent whatever I really love that one so everything else in here is pretty new to me it is a pretty big bag for how little that I got mainly because so many of you shared your Sephora friends and family codes with me because you were employees of Sephora and I cannot say thank you enough like obviously I couldn't use all of them but frankly just the fact that you guys like me enough to do something like that meant a lot to me so I did wind up placing a little order online with one of those codes but I did grab two other things while I was at Sephora just because I fell in love the first thing is this Buxom full-on lip cream. I got a mini of this as like a Sephora, not a perk, it was just a coupon code, and I got a mini of their full-on lip cream in a different shade. I love it so freaking much. The pigmentation is amazing. The formula is also really nice. They're thick without being goopy, and they're kind of sticky, but not like too sticky, so they stay on your lips, but it's not like stick city where it just, I don't know, it just feels yuck. And they're also really minty, which means they tingle, and that's pretty nice to me. The color that I got is in the shade Dolly, and I don't know, I just saw this. I really, really, really liked this. As you can see, it's just kind of a dark, mauve pink. These are shades I wear all the time, and this layers really well over lipsticks like this, just to give a little bit of shine or just a touch up during the day if I need more moisture or whatever it might be. They are expensive AF though, like honestly, I paid $20 for this one, but the packaging is gigantic. Like you get a lot of lip gloss and it's just a really good product, so I don't mind paying it. Then in the kind of like front section, of the store I saw these little bite mix and mingle um, double-sided lipsticks and they started this last year and I bought one or two and it's not that I don't like them I just never think to grab for them but this looked like one I would use constantly so I went ahead and I picked it up because it was only $12 the shades on here are Cortado and this is kind of like a really dark brick red I wear this as a neutral personally and I like to wear it with pretty much anything because it is dark but it's not I don't know, it's not too in your face. The other shade on this is called Latte, and this just seemed like a color I would wear constantly, just that kind of brownish nude shade I tend to go for all the time. And it's just in such a friendly little package. I travel all of the time. I am becoming one of those people who doesn't stop traveling for anything. So having little things like this just in my purse on the go um, is really nice and it kind of it saves some room in my makeup bag. But that's all I wound up getting at Sephora this time around. I do have a pretty big Sephora haul coming your way and I'm probably going to combine it with whatever I wind up getting during the um, VIB sale or whatever and that will go up in probably a few weeks. If not, next, I don't know when it's going to go up. Let's just, let's just keep it real and keep moving. The next place we wound up visiting at the mall was Victoria's Secret. And I went in there for underwear, and I'm going to be totally 100% real with you guys because I love you, and I feel like you deserve to know my failures in life. I packed this suitcase, and I packed so freaking well. I did not overpack my clothes. I did not overpack on any, well, let's be real. I kind of overpacked a baby bit, but not as bad as I normally do. 
And I was like, I didn't forget anything. I'm so freaking proud of myself. I forgot to pack clean underwear. So the very day that I got to Tampa, I was like, I have to go to the mall and go get underwear so I can wash them tonight and wear them tomorrow. And my friend was like, okay, so I do not have everything in here. Just so you know, I'm not gonna show you the pairs I've already worn because those were washed and then they were worn and I just feel like that wouldn't be good. But I will show you the pairs still in here. They were five for 27, I believe. And then every pair after that was like on for the sale price. Does that make any sense? I'm not gonna show the pairs that I've already worn, like I said, because that just wouldn't be fun. But I will show you these. The first one that I have to show you is this really cute little pair of red and plaid undies, and they just have this little lace trim right here. So, so stinking cute, I can't. They already have all their holiday underwear out, and that is one of the pairs that I had. And that's why like these are the ones I have to show you, because I haven't worn these yet, because they're holiday, and I feel like they're festive. Although, when I'm filming this, it's like November 1st, so it's officially the holiday, But whatever. The second pair I have to show you just says hashtag Elfie on it. These are so, so, so cute. And they are just like little boy shorts with the lace at the top. I really enjoy boy shorts a lot. And it kind of depends on what I'm wearing. Sometimes it doesn't work. But when I can get away with them, I feel like TBH, I feel like they are a cuter version of granny panties. They're so comfy. I have this little pair of gray ones with a kind of like Colgate design right here. And it just says pink and maroon. And this is one of my favorite color combinations. I love gray mixed with maroon maroon so much and it just has maroon lace at the very top again a little pair of boy shorts and then the last pair that I have these are just like their cheeksters and it says what the L and it is this beautiful emerald color and I have a bra that's going to go so well with this so those are the undies I wound up getting and I actually wound up getting also a precise like varsity shirt and they're like those varsity um crew necks that you can get at your local college are super freaking soft but on my way out of the store, like I had bought that shirt and on my way out of the store, I saw this and this hoodie I have already worn to death. It just says Victoria's Secret on the back and it has little sequin um, like patches right here on the arms and it just reminded me so much of something I would like. I've never had one of the actual Victoria's Secret hoodies. I've always had pink ones, but this one was so soft and it's really lightweight, which makes it kind of nice for both Florida and Tampa weather. So yeah, I just thought this would be a nice hoodie to have and I really wound up liking it. Like I said, I just love the sequins. In the front here, I'm just gonna zip it up so you guys can, I don't know, see. But in the front, it's completely and totally plain. It just has that design on the back, which I think is really cute, but it's a nice, like charcoal gray color which I love and then on the zipper it just has little Victoria's Secret angel wings so cute I love it so much and it was hella expensive I don't want to talk about it but what can you do all right so the last place that I went to at the mall was Lush and I have a subscriber who works at the Lush where I kind of come to visit my friend whenever I do come here and I love her so much she's super freaking nice and I really enjoy talking to you if you are watching this but I wound up getting some fun stuff the first thing is this little pumpkin gift set and I know this is obviously the Halloween and Halloween is officially over but I still bought it in October so it doesn't count I don't think I'm gonna get this open it's really well taped and I kind of want to leave it like this so that the bath bombs don't go everywhere but in here you do get a sparkly pumpkin bubble bar as well as a Lord of Misrule bath bomb and the sparkly pumpkin and bubble bar just says it's lime juniper berry and swirling shimmery waters and then the Misrule bath bomb says it's wine colored mythically scented soap both of these were limited edition which is kind of also why I'm not going to show them because I don't think you can get them anymore their limited edition stuff sells so fast I got the last one that was there so yeah, still a really cute set though, and I've never had a Lush set before. I'm gonna like make a Halloween tree next year and make this like the star. This was not something I was expecting to get. We were just kind of shopping around, and I've never really strayed away from Lush's just like bath stuff. Like I have bath bombs, I've had bubble bars, I have had soap. And like shower jellies and stuff but I've never gotten anything aside from that aside from like little samples here and there but this is the sea spray hair mist and my friend was just like testing out products and stuff and she smelled this and she was like oh my god this smells like sunscreen it smells like a day at the beach it smells like salt water and sunscreen and it literally just reminds me of summer this was $13 and frankly the bottles pretty large all you have to do is when your hair is damp I've also used it when it's dry but I'm not going to show you right now all you need to do is like spray it throughout your hair kind of give your hair a little bit of a tousle you do not need a lot of this and it just gives you so much volume when my hair was slick straight it even gave me a little bit of wave which is so nice so I can't wait to see what this does with my natural like curly texture plus it smells divine and I'm really really excited about this if you have 
a little bit of natural curl or wave in your hair, I definitely recommend you give this a try. Michelle didn't do anything to her hair for like three days after spraying this in, like no product, no nothing. She kind of like finger combed it in the morning and it stayed really full and wavy for three days. So I don't even understand how they do that, but yes, this is a really good sea spray. I did get two soaps. The first is called Yog Nog, and again, I'm not gonna unwrap it just because, you know, I gotta travel. It just smells like eggnog and nutmeg and like cinnamon. That's what it smells like to me. Just very, very festive. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna turn into Mariah Carey this month, FYI. Everything is going to be so festive. But it also says it's very hydrating, and I picked up the soap. Like, my hands were dry, and I picked up the soap, and I could feel my hands instantly get softer and like, more slippery even when they were dry. So I can't imagine what this is gonna do when you actually like intentionally go in to wash yourself. So I got that and I just got a pretty small thing of it. And I also wound up getting Baked Alaska and it says brighten up dark winter mornings. This one is in really pretty colors too. It kind of looks like, um, what is the proper term for that? I don't know. When the sky is like all those multi colors, northern lights, I'm an idiot. That's what it looks like. And it just smells like um the lush shower jelly it almost smells like a cereal it smells like fruit loops with like a little bit of spice i don't even know if that makes any sense it's so good the last thing that i got at lush is the cup of coffee mask and i almost bought a full size of this but i have so many masks right now and the only reason i wanted it is because it smells like straight up coffee i cannot wait to use this i'm assuming it's going to be very brightening because it does obviously have caffeine in it and yeah i'll let you guys know on this one i tend to really love everything that lush makes in terms of like facial skincare i've only ever tried samples because i do have so much skincare from my job obviously but this package does not want to close i'm really excited for it and i will let you know how i feel and that is it for the things I kind of got at my local, well, my local, the local mall where I'm staying. And I'm going to show you some stuff from Universal and the zoo. So while I was here, we wound up going to Universal Studios. And we went during the day just to go to the park. And then at night, we went to Universal's Hollywood Horror Nights. And I really enjoyed Hollywood Horror Nights so, so much. I got the absolute poop scared out of me. I was so anxious the whole time. And that was kind of the price I had to pay. But I didn't get any, like, Hollywood Horror Nights souvenirs aside from some selfies with some of the actors but I did wind up getting some stuff from the park during the day and it was all Harry Potter related obviously. Really recently I wound up putting up a haul from my old townhouse that I had completely lost footage from and didn't even know I still had it completely. I, I forgot it was even a thing and in that haul I hauled some stuff from the last time I went to Universal which was back in May. It wasn't that long ago. Actually wow it was not back in May. It was in June. I really was not here that long ago. But in it, I kind of talked about how when I went to the Harry Potter sections of the Universal theme parks, that I was really disappointed by the lack of Hufflepuff stuff because I'm a Hufflepuff through and through. And they actually now have these little crew neck shirts that have the different house names on them. So I just have my Hufflepuff one and I have the little crest on the sleeve like so. And I would have bought these for other people. But no one I know is as obsessed with Harry Potter as I am. So if you ever go, get yourself one of these crew necks so we can be twinnies and we can have like a Hogwarts, I don't know. Let's have like a Hogwarts Monday where we all wear Harry Potter themed things. Regardless, I did wind up getting this at the park and this was my big purchase. I got two gray sweatshirts while I was here because logic. All right, so other than that, I did get a few sweets um, and I'm going to be trying one of them on camera. This is for Tyler and it is the Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. He loves doing stuff like this so much. If you guys want us to do like, well, there's not really a guide. There's like a thing on the back that gives you all of the flavors, but I don't know. If you guys want us to do like a video on these, let me know. Maybe we'll do it, but I got these mainly for Tyler because they were $10.95. That's ridiculous, but I did get them, so I hope he likes them. I also wound up getting this, and I don't, like, I don't think that this is, like, a thing that's from the books or the movies or anything, but it's just pink coconut ice, and I really like coconut. This just looked appetizing to me. I'm not going to try it right now because, I don't know, I don't want to open it. It's, like, a really big bar. I highly doubt I'd be able to finish this in, like, even the next few days, so, yeah, it is really cute, though, and I can't wait to try it because I really like coconut. I'll do it on a vlog and let you guys know. And then the last thing that I wound up getting, I am going to try on camera, and it is something I've always, always wanted to try. This is pumpkin juice. Pumpkin flavored juice cocktail from Concentrate. And I was looking at the ingredients and it's just water, apple juice, pumpkin puree, apricot puree, um, and just like a bunch of other stuff. It's 81% juice though. And I, <laughs> I love the bottle so much, but I know I can't travel with this tomorrow. So I have to drink it today. Oh, the little pumpkin thing comes off. I think I've got to keep this container though. But yeah, I just thought 
I would do like a taste test. I think I'm going to shake it up because it's been in that bag for the last couple of days. Apparently you don't have to refrigerate it until after it's been opened. So I hope it's not bad because it's like room temperature. I don't know. Oh, oh my God. It smells like pumpkin pie. I can't. That's really good. I, oh my God. My mouth is watering so bad now. I've talked to people in the past who say this is not good. It's really sweet. So that's something to note. Like you probably couldn't drink a whole lot of this, but it's so good. Oh my God. I'm really excited now. I'm definitely going to keep the bottle and just put it in my luggage and pray no one steals it. I'm never gonna get over that. I'm gonna be salty about that for the remainder of my existence. But anyways, yeah, um, I really am super excited about this and I love the bottle. I have three bags, three bags from Universal Studios, but that was what I wound up getting. And then the next day, we were so kind of exhausted mentally from Hollywood Horror Nights. Like it was a trip. Um, and like being at Universal for literally 12 hours during the day that we decided to go to the zoo on Halloween to do Zoo Boo. And this was in Tampa. We went to Laurie, Laurie Zoo. And we were the only people there without kids. Or we were the oldest kids there, depending on your perspective. And it's a great zoo. Like, I really enjoy going to the zoo. And so we went, and I saw so many of my faves. Like, I've never seen an elephant in person in my entire life. And it was so surreal. I cried because it was so giant. There was also a baby rhino. Like, there were so many animals. I got to see a bunch of penguins, and that was just a good time. But I also wound up finding true love while I was at the zoo. And, you know... I'm obviously a married woman and like you don't go anywhere especially not the zoo like you don't go expecting this is the day you're gonna meet your soulmate you just don't think like that and I did and his name is Charles and he's a sloth they also had like sloths literally that would have come up to my hip bone they were gigantic and they were only $50 which is not a lot for like gigantic stuffed animals normally they're really expensive especially at the zoo I actually collect otters from various aquariums. I have like a whole big collection of otters because otters are my favorite animal, but I really, really love a good sloth. And I was having a really bad day yesterday and I realized he makes like a great cuddle buddy. So his name is Charles. Um, we're in love and you'll be seeing a lot more of him. I can't believe I'm actually towards the end of this. I have a Trader Joe's bag. This might seem really weird to you guys, but I don't have Trader Joe's where I live and I've never lived near a Trader Joe's. I've Googled and there's one in Austin, so I may have to start going occasionally because Austin is a little bit out of my way back home in Texas because the whole reason I went, whenever I visit my friend, whether it was when we lived in Kansas or here, every single time I went to go see her, I always asked if I could use her face wash because this is just tea tree oil face wash. And I've never found anything as good as this, but it's like literally an oil. All you do is like rub it in your hands and then you use it on your face. My skin looks infinitely better when I use this, but you can't buy it online. It's really hard to find in stores. Apparently it's not a very popular item. So start buying it so that Trader Joe's realizes people love it and they make more. I have pretty dry skin, but my pores also have the tendency to get a little bit clogged. So this is really good because it's not drying. It doesn't really feel like it's stripping my skin, but it does feel like it's getting every last impurity out without being abrasive or over the top for my poor skin because I'm very delicate. So I wound up getting a bottle finally. It's so inexpensive. And if you are someone who's dry, but you do tend to get product buildup or you tend to get acne. Try to find a Trader Joe's. Try to find something like this because tea tree oil really, really does the trick. I feel personally. I really like this a lot. I've used straight up tea tree oil before and I just feel like it's too drying. The way that this is made though is perfect. So that was the whole reason we went and we wound up getting some snacks just because, um, I don't know, we wanted snacks. And I tried these last night, but these are the potato chips with South African style seasoning. I really don't eat potato chips ever, but something about these sounded really good and it says an exotic smoked flavor and I love anything that tastes smoked or like barbecued and since I don't eat meat anymore I don't really get that flavor a whole lot but here's what they look like they're actually not greasy at all like they just feel like baked potato chips which is really nice but they're so good to me they taste like they're barbecue with a little bit more kick they're not like spicy or anything but they're so so good. And the last thing from this entire haul, I cannot believe this, is a Trader Joe's Inner Peas. And these are delicately crunchy baked green pea snack. And I buy the generic version. Well, I buy like some name brand version of these a lot whenever I go to Walmart or whatever. But these are obviously a little bit more natural. I don't think that there's as many like ingredients. Whole green peas, vegetable oil, rice, salt, 
that's pretty much it. And so they're pretty good for you. They're a great snack and they kind of satisfy that need to like crunch on something. So these are going on the plane with me tomorrow. That's pretty much all I had to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's cool. I filmed a little something something on the go. Um, like I said, I just had so much and it seemed like such a waste to like pack my suitcase with all of this and then unpack it, show you guys when I get home and then not be able to put it away until I film it. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!